Hi, Scott from Digital Fish with content that catches. I was in the far north and exploring the Rangiputa Harbour and nearby coast to see if I could find some local trevally, kingfish or snapper. An early launch in still conditions was looking promising. I'd been trying the local channel marker for kingfish but hadn't yet run into any of my yellow finned friends. Perseverance is key when fishing so I was out again to cast a pretty little stick bait around the marker at first light. Still no kings, so time to explore some more and see what I could find. Early morning is prime lure time for kings, so I searched out some more places to try. That was a choice cast if I do so say myself. No action yet, so moving on up the harbour, I spied an outlet running into the main channel. Maybe a soft bait could tempt a trevally. Things were quiet despite me targeting more channel markers. So more moving and a drift with a micro jig was on the agenda. A local kaha wife thought he had breakfast, but I did instead. Pulling the boat up onto the white sandbanks, it looked like the perfect place to take the splash drone for a fly. Fly time was over. I hatched a plan to move out of the harbour and further into the bay. A rocky reef system just up the coast had been good to me before so I was coming back for more. Some burly in the water and offerings of pilchard got some attention after 15 or 20 minutes and the local reds came out to play. I love shallow water stray lining. Fish fight hard and stealth is a part of the game. I had fish already at home so these guys were going back. The next fish was pulling hard and the short sharp tail beats told me it was probably a healthy trevally that had come calling. Trevally are a stunning species, they fight harder than most other fish their size and are delicious sashimi, smoked or curried. They say big baits for big snaps, so I dressed a slab of kahawai to see if anything big was lurking down the trail. The local blue piranhas, also known as Mau Mau, made short work of the slabs I threw out. I got the skin back, but not much else. Back on the pilchard outfit and something had nibbled and got hooked. I suspected Mau Mau, but no, it was heavier and redder in disguise. Sometimes you never know what is biting, even if the bites are faint. something satisfying about putting a fish back to grow bigger and breed and support our future fishery. One blue piranha wasn't so quick with my bait, but he got to swim another day as well. An awesome day out on the little boat with some nice fish to my credit. This is Scott from Digital Fish with content that catches.